What you're looking at here is a map that is uh, representative of 150 openings from around the world. Some of the most influential openings that have ever been played and just some openings that, well, quite frankly, that I've never heard of. But again, this is not all openings, but definitely um, you can't fit all openings on one map. But just by looking at this, you can see that the artist who made this map and that artist's name is uh yuri gordon and and um he made he designed this uh for world chess this is a very premium product and right now they're having a um, limited edition of them where they are numbered so the numbered I, ones i have here is 130 out of 50 we're going to take some close up here in the map here in a second and this is printed on in berlin on our museum quality if I pronounce his name wrong, I'm sorry, uh, Han, Honey Mule Paper. And this is one of the oldest paper mills in the world. And right now, this thing is still available to reserve your copy. They're not full on selling them. You sort of have to, I think they do, my guess is that they're doing printing runs of these. And so whenever they have enough orders, they're going to print them off and be able to fulfill those orders. So what would make, me or anybody for that matter buy such a premium product such an exquisite thing to hang up and basically be a centerpiece uh you know to your chess area in your house in your chess club well it's because it is a real marvel of artist work and not only that it would definitely strike a conversation i am quite for sure if the person is or is not interested in chess so, again, who would I say might would be the first people that might want to pick these up? If you are a chess collector, a serious chess collector like I am, say if you are a, a, a really well-known coach and you just want to put a, a, a new centerpiece, a picture in your office, or if you was in a, had a nice chess club, you can hang one of these up, uh, you know, just out in the hallway or somewhere in the playing hall area or, or, you know, where people coming in so they can see it, that sort of thing. I got to say, this thing is absolutely incredible in person. I mean, it's just you just you just don't want to stop. You just can't stop looking at it. So let me get a little closer here. I'm going to start over here in the corner here. We're just going to go around the map and just stop it at a few points. But again, I can't go over this whole map in this video, but you'll get the point. So basically, you can pause the video and you'll probably see more than what I'm going to be talking about. So starting up here in the USA, um, they give little stories like Man Ray, White Knight and Black King from abstract sect, uh, gilded and painted before in bronze in 1962. So I'm assuming they're talking about these sets here. So not only are they talking about chess openings, they're giving a little history on these sets. Like for example, large bone French Regency, early 18th century. And then if you come down here inside of, for example, this, um, uh, what I want to say, uh, uh, space that would be uh, graphically the United States, geographically the United States, you have um, names of opening like for example the Kentucky opening I personally never heard of it uh, the Wilkes Bear variation I've heard of that the Fort Knox variation of the French defense never have heard of that the American Gambit never heard of it so again this is definitely going to be interesting to me because I am definitely going through some of these openings and just figuring out what are they because again this is amazing so if we come right on down here um, you know, coming down towards our Mexico here, South America here, um, you know, come down here, you can see how pieces are depicted, I guess, depending on what century it is and that sort of thing coming down here. Um, you can see other open the Brazilian defense. I never heard of that or the Rio de Janeiro version of the, or the Royal Lopez, the Argentine gambit, Argentine gambit of the Baltic. I gotta say, this thing is simply amazing. We're going to go back on up here to Iceland and come down. Iceland's up here for the Icelandic Gambit. I've heard of that for sure. Then they have other pieces here that they're talking about, like these right here, the Bishop and Knight of Iris, Kildare Arbutus Wood, chess set, 18th century, for example. And then, of course, if we come down in here, I mean, all of this right here is just going to be packed with all sorts of um, openings, France, Switzerland, um, Hungary, 
And again, they have a lot of numbers in here, as you can see, like F4, F5, F6, and F7. And that would say correspond if you go around, let's find that here. If you go up here to F4, French defense, F5, the Paris defense, never heard of that. Paris, uh, another version, and the Paris defense, the eight. Now, I've heard of the AMR opening for sure, uh, night to age three. So, again, why they may not actually have the variation here, because it's much fewer probably openings that was probably generated in the United States. They're going to actually have like codes like these are uh, indications S, 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 A, S, 9, S, 10, for example, for Switzerland. Now we come on down to Africa here, get right back. Interesting. They have a very large bronze rook, Mali or Niger, 20th century, for example. And it's, it basically gives a little bit of chess history on top of openings as well. It's almost like an architect design. This is almost like a, a, a floor plan. Of a, of, a, of a building or something here. And of course, if you go over here to Russia, I mean, Russia has uh, so many, like for example, I've heard of this open here, the modern archangelic, angelic, I guess, defense of the Royal Lopez. Definitely have heard of that. Um, and you go over here to Novo, how you say that? Novo, I can't pronounce all these Russian names, something variation of the Dunce opening. I just don't want to, butcher these names too bad i'm pretty good at pronouncing words sometimes they throw me off um the siberian attack of the indian defense the gulag uh constructive set made from the matchsticks after 1937 take a look at that that is simply amazing these things i believe i'm not sure which one they're talking about here i want to say it's this i want to say that yeah they got to be what they're talking about so this right here they made this in the gulag so it makes it basically you know, I'm just. This is my guess. If you think about people who would say around World War One, between that time World War Two, that was picking up, picked up, and they were sent to these gulag, these types of camps. They still these camps probably house some of the strongest chess players at that time, or probably ever. That just might be unknown. Pretty amazing. It makes you think about that kind of stuff. And if you come down, Indonesian monsters chess set, of the 20th century, for example. Wow, this thing is amazing. So anyway, um, uh, I, I only thing I can simply say is this thing is super exquisite. I'm going over the whole map so you can pause the video at any time so you can you know see what's on it. And um, this thing is just stupendously exquisite, uh, very artistic in design, uh, very well thought out. You know, really you know generates. Uh, really provokes thinking provokes thought i put it that way and if you are a serious chess player no matter what level you are i am almost for certain you will for surely appreciate this map of 150 openings from world chess